Hello everyone, and thank you so much for tuning into this virtual recital. Sahar and I so wish we could perform for you in person, but we think you're going to love this program of Mozart, Dvorak, and Copland. We start with a concert aria by Mozart, who was 19 and working at the court in Salzburg, Austria at the time. We don't know the full history of this aria, but most likely Mozart wrote it to be inserted into the performance of another composer's opera. We would never think of such a thing today, but that was very common in Mozart's time. This aria has gorgeous lyrical passages that alternate with virtuosic coloratura, and it's all infused with what I love the most, a liveliness and brilliance that can be nothing other than a teenage Mozart. Here's me and Sahar Nuri with You Have a Faithful Heart. Voi avete un cor fedele.
When Antonin Dvorak wrote his seven gypsy songs in 1880, there was a big fad for so-called gypsy music that is now considered a pejorative term for the Romani people, a nomadic ethnic group in Europe. Dvorak took his texts from the Czech poet Adolf Hayduk, and there are three main themes that come up. The bond between man and nature, man's elemental need for music, and freedom as something to be valued above all else. The Czech people at that time were living under a repressive Austrian government, so that last theme, freedom, would have spoken especially loudly to them. Here are Antonin Dvorak's Gypsy Songs.
Copeland was referred to in his time as the Dean of American Composers, and he led a long celebrated life that spanned most of the 20th century. Emily Dickinson, one of America's most important poets, lived most of her adult life in isolation and was almost completely unknown for her poetry when she was alive in the mid 19th century. Many of her poems deal with the themes of death, immortality, nature, and spirituality. Copeland set 12 of Dickinson's poems to music in 1950, and those themes are in full force, starting with Nature, the Gentlest Mother, and ending with The Chariot, in which the speaker rides alongside death in his carriage. Copeland said about these songs, the poems themselves give me direction one that I hoped would be appropriate to Miss Dickinson's lyrical, expressive language. Sahar and I hope you enjoy them. Here are the 12 poems of Emily Dickinson by Aaron Copeland. Thank you. 
heaven, going to heaven.
Sure. 